everybody, this is Keith Krantz from Dominate Web Media, and I'm really excited today because today Facebook just launched the new Send button. So basically now people can uh, send anything from their blog, from their website, or from somebody else's website uh, via Facebook mail right to their friend's Facebook inbox. Um, it's pretty cool. So it's right here. I just installed the like button and the send button here on this site right here above. I was not installed up here before. So this, um, they make it pretty cool actually when you, you can actually install the like button now and, and the send button, you can just check it and it installs both of them together right next to each other. So very cool. So if, if, I, if I go ahead and click send here, boom, it pops up this box. Now I can just send it to any one of my friends. Uh, let's see here. I can go ahead and click that one I can I can send it to any friend or if I want I can actually just type in an email let's just say uh, I want to send it to myself to my Gmail account I can I can send it to it any um, email I want very very cool and it's kind of a private way to share stuff <clears throat> so that's kind of what how they're how they're wording it um, the like button um, social proof another thing about the like button is is uh, uh it's kind of acting up here let me reload the page here but when you have a like button installed on your page and people somebody likes your page now when people go ahead and they go into the search button the search box into in in, in facebook right here they can search for for things and your website will now show up in Facebook search and this is a big deal because as social gets more and more powerful and Facebook search gets more and more relevant more people are searching in there and you really want to be ahead of the game on that stuff so so uh, <clears throat> now real quick I'm gonna show you a real quick way to install this if you go ahead and go to developers.facebook.com forward slash plugins you can actually just go ahead and install click the like button right here I'm gonna go ahead and click the like button and scroll down a little bit here and I can click the URL to like the button and notice how the check the send button is checked right there so I'll just keep that checked and it will put them right next to each other like it is right here leave everything else the same go ahead and go down and just get code now all I have to do is I can just copy and paste this iframe code right into my blog into my WordPress widget area or wherever I want it or if it's an HTML site I can just copy and paste this this code right into wherever I want those buttons and they'll show up now I'm pretty sure right now in order for the the um, send button to be active I think you have to use the XFBML okay this is just active today so just um, you know don't 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 quote me on this but if you if you use the X, XBF, XFBML version, it's a little more complex. I'm going to show you kind of real quick how to do it, but you're going to go ahead and just copy this code here, um, and I'll go ahead and pull it in, up into a, a text editor here. So I'll just paste it. Whoops, that didn't work. I'll go ahead and uh, copy this code. And paste it right there but then what, what else you have to do is you have to do another thing you have to actually go up and get your uh, JavaScript SDK so if you click you see this link right here JavaScript SDK I'm gonna click that and then I'm gonna scroll down to the second set of code loading the SDK asynchronously I'm gonna go ahead and copy that and paste it in the same spot right below the other one I'm gonna paste it right here okay now the only thing else we have to do is we have to take this app ID and ex replace this with your, your app ID. Now, if you don't already have an app ID, you can create an app ID pretty quickly um, on your uh, Facebook page. You can go ahead and just you can type in www.facebook.com forward slash developers forward slash create app dot PHP. And that will take you to this page here, and you can just create a create a new app just put test app here and agree and create app and then put in the captcha code which you can never read I don't even know if this is gonna work of course not F P F C
There we go. Now that's it. Basically, I can go ahead and um, uh, save that, and I'll have my app ID. Okay, and then I can just let's go ahead and uh, test app two. I'm gonna go ahead and save changes, and there it is. There's my app ID right there. Now, for some people, if they've never created an app, it's a little bit. Uh, they're gonna take you through a series of questions to kind of verify in your account. And they probably might, they might have to send you a text message to your to your cell phone to verify your account. It takes a little bit of time to set up your first app, but um, if that's the case. Just kind of follow the steps. Now I have that app ID. I can go ahead and copy and paste that right into here. Uh, let's, I don't think I copied it actually. So there it is. There. I'm going to go ahead and paste it into there. Now I'm going to take this entire code, copy the whole thing and um, inside of my WordPress dashboard here, my widget here is where that video was and all I did was I went in here and I just pasted the code right into my WordPress um, widget area and voila, reload my page and there it is. Very cool. You got a Facebook like button, you got a send button and you're, you're social. So hope you enjoy. Um, please comment or question uh, below if you have any questions or comments. Thanks.